Okay, so, Bring It On Again is the sequel to the 2000 film, Bring It On, and it is directed by Damon Santos Stefano. And the plot of Bring It On Again is college freshman Whittier and her friend Monica make the California State Trillion Squad, but they can't stand its snobbish leader, Tina Hammersmith. They resolve to form their own team, pulling together a geek, a collection of geeky art students and hippie bleeding hearts whose extracurricular programs were cut for budgetary reasons. Though, through teamwork, they challenge the official squad's right to represent the, the school at the upcoming Trillion Championship. What I thought of Bring It On Again is when I first saw this when it came out on DVD in 2004 I remember I was a little and I hated this one because it, there was no way it could match the first one. I don't think anything is going to match that first one. <laughs> but as I've gotten older I start to appreciate the film and enjoy it. So I love this one. So, this has a similar plot of competing trillion teams that have to try something different or to win, which is in every movie. Because this, just like the Star Wars franchise and Fast and Furious franchise and all the other popular franchises, this one follows a certain formula. There are no recurring cast members or references to the first film. And so, the film does refer to its predecessor during the end credits, featuring outtakes and clips of the cast having fun dancing and singing. So, the acting in this movie. You have Anne Judson Yeager, and she is she's good. She's good in this movie. I liked her. I think, I haven't seen her in anything else since this, so, you know... She probably just didn't want to be in any more movies. I don't know. <laughs> Brie Turner is Tina. She was cool. She, she was fine. I liked her performance. She was amazing. I thought she was fantastic. Fawn Chambers, who I remember from being an epic movie. I liked her as Monica. She was funny. Her and um, Whittier, they... They work pretty well with each other. You also got other cast members. You got Joey Lenz as Marnie. Felicia Day as Penelope. Bryce Johnson as Greg. Kevin Cooney as Dean Sebastian. Richard Lee Jackson as Derek. A lot of actors. Oh! A little cameo appearance for all you iCarly fans. Jerry Trainer is in this movie. And I am not bullcrapping you. Watch, there is a scene, watch the tryout scene and the scene where he tries out for the Renegades and you'll, and you guys will recognize it is him. I am not lying to you guys, just really. But, the comedy is so freaking hilarious, it's so awesome. I love the comedy in this film, it is, it's some of the best comedy in the film. The cheerleading competitions... And the Trillian's choreography is fantastic. I love that. That was so, you know, cool. The soundtrack is well picked. And I do love the ending. Unfortunately, I do have two minor issues. This movie goes by way too quick. Way too freaking quickly. <laughs> and... Marnie, I just did not give a care about Marnie at all. Not the Halloween Town Marnie. This is a different Marnie because I'm talking about Bring It On again, the second one. 
But besides that, bring it on again. We'll get an epic tastic. Let me know in the comments below what you think of bring it on again. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I will catch you guys for bring it on three.